Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Cancer October 20th, 2022. You're psyched up to put a problem behind you today, and you're ready to take care of your priorities. You can be quite moved to make a decision or to put an idea into action as the sun forms a trine to Mars. Work on or around the house can be especially productive, as matters seem to flow naturally and interference is minimal with this transit boosting stamina and confidence levels. Motivation is strong. This is a good day for living in the moment putting plans aside and allowing yourself some time off from overthinking can be beneficial. Your emotional life is animated and energizing, and it's easier than usual to decide on a course of action. Sex is the name of the game today. Get ready for it. With today's 5-star rating for passion and romance, you must be ready to open yourself up to take it. The sun will smile over to mighty Mars, the planet of sex, ensuring that your desires will be inflamed and ready to burst. Your self-confidence will be strong and your enthusiasm for connection and intimacy will also be potent. If single, be sure to follow your instincts and let chemistry dictate your match. If committed, be sure to tell your partner that you're overwhelmed with lust for them. Finish up this stage in your creative endeavors. The last quarter moon in Cancer is your time to wrap up this aspect of your process, such as putting together a game plan or nailing down a foundation for your project to grow upon. As the lunation glows, you may feel notably empowered by following your endeavors when the Sun in Libra trines Mars in Gemini. But you may need to revamp your work environment since the trine encourages you to optimize your productivity which may come from organizing your workspace. The Sun, now just days away from leaving your financial sector over the weekend, finds itself in the wrong place at the right time today. A clash with the asteroid Eris in your income sector might create some financial tension but a friendly aspect to Mars can turn this into motivation. It helps that the Moon and Neptune are creating positive energy and insight on the income and job fronts. Giving yourself the benefit of the doubt is critical if you are indeed seeking to change your health habits for the better. It's hard to change old patterns. It's a day-by-day -day effort, and real change takes time. If you feel the one step forward to two steps back syndrome, lighten up a little bit and focus on the positive. When it comes to health, your basic attitude is what matters most. Keep that in mind. You will get what you want and what you fear as well. This will be a day of realization, notably in your private life. You will be more receptive to your family and spouse. But be prudent. If things are on the move today, be careful that they don't go in a bad direction. Your relationships with those close to you may turn sour. Everyone won't necessarily be on the same wavelength as you are. Just having the moon return to your work sector today means that it will be here, giving you an intuitive read on work and job matters in the heart of the working week. Yet while this first visit since the last planet left your work sector was always going to be a valuable chance to regroup, the moon's return and friendly aspect to Jupiter comes just as the planet of luck and expansion moves into his final 10 days in your income sector. In a week when there is a lot of focus on the other side of the financial fence, this is giving income and job matters a boost. Before leaving your romantic sector today and after forming a friendly aspect to the south node on the adventurous front yesterday, the moon will form a friendly aspect to dreamy Neptune in Pisces. This has already brought the spirit of romance and adventure together while today inspiring some wishful thinking days before Venus, the planet of love is due to return to an adventurous part of your chart. Our eyes in the sky. Today's energy is very much tied to the ambitious Cancer moon squaring the Libra sun. Welcome this lunar transit with open arms in order to experience the full abundance that the universe has to offer. There are plenty of surprises that could manifest right now, even with a stressful cardinal T-square incorporating the Sun, Moon, and Pluto. Today brings new developments in relationships and connections all around. Those partnerships that were hanging by a thread may not last through these transits. Highly plausible is taking a step in the direction of either commitment or separation. Hidden affairs begin to breach the surface. 
If you're doing something undercover, the days ahead are the time to be completely honest about your romantic endeavors. Someone might be playing you for their own enjoyment. Is the one really here in your life, or are you just filling the space in order to satisfy your needs? These are some questions you need to ask yourself in order to take a step forward. This is the perfect time to write a different story for your life and give yourself space to grow a more vibrant spiritual garden. In the morning, the Cancer Moon squares Venus in Libra, making us eager to please. We believe that our safety hinges upon being as accommodating as possible. Although we might receive attention in return for offering our support, attention is only a substitute for the love we desire. We risk selling ourselves short, giving our affection to the lowest bidder, to those who are merely tolerating us instead of engaging with us reciprocally. In relationships, conflict can arise over who is doing more for who. Try not to play the blame game or calculate who is more invested. Has another person forced you into a nurturing role, or is it something you stepped into willingly? Following this, the last quarter moon in Cancer prompts us to reflect on the October 9th Aries full moon. During this time, we grappled with relationship anxieties, the projection of being not enough or too much. Our mission was to focus on ourselves, to establish a foundation of self-love as a gateway to relational love. Yet today, crises manifest in the form of arguments or distance from loved ones. We are still at a place where our desire to be needed and loved might be at odds with how we are creating relationships, not only with romantic partners, but with friends, co-workers, and family. Codependence is a hard habit to break. It is rooted in the false premise that if we shoulder more of the burden, we can make an impossible situation work. But it takes two to build a healthy union. If both people aren't prioritizing the relationship, no amount of work on the part of one person will make things right. Today, aim to see things for what they are, 